G'day guys, welcome to J-Man Speaks. Today we're looking at a video called Black Cat Energy, how to have him chase you. This is by a YouTuber called Margarita Nazarenko. So I'm gonna leave the video link in the description. So just to preface, uh, this is a dating coach for women. Uh, she tries to teach women how men think and how to lock them down. Um, I have not watched this video. I like the, I like the, um, the title. And so we're gonna go in and have a laugh at it. You wanna talk some more about black cat energy, do you? Well, you're in luck because I am here today to talk to you about black cat energy. What is black cat energy? What is black cat energy, Margarita? What is black cat energy? All these questions, all these questions. It's okay, I got you. What is it? They just make up bullshit and sell it to the, 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 the whores of idiots, women out there who are gonna buy her stupid courses and sign up for her. She sells books, she writes books. I think she wrote the book, buy my book, 20 Feminine Energy Principles, Polarity Masterclass, and she wrote a book, Become Ad Magnetic, and she wrote a book called The New Rules or The New Game or some bullshit like that. So just poisoning women, essentially, with bullshit. If you want him to be chasing you, if you want to be the one in demand, if you don't want to be the one who's trying to orchestrate the relationship, because let's, let's get this straight right now. Let's get this straight before we get it twisted. If it's your project that the relationship is then it is you who is in the driver's seat then it is you <laughs> who's always the one pushing then it is you who's always trying to create the connection then it is you who's writing to margarita asking i don't know why he doesn't buy me flowers for anniversaries then it is you contacting me contacting your friends contacting your dog contacting your cat asking why he does not care so what well, i'm gonna tell you why being being a kind of guy who not romantic in any way i've never really bought anniversary presents never bought flowers really i've done it uh, as token gestures in the past because i felt i had to he doesn't like her he doesn't like her like that uh, if a guy really does like a woman he, he will he will make a lot of effort for that to be known you don't need to write into margarita nazarenko and ask her about black cat energy i'm presuming it's going to be something because black cats don't give a fuck or something like that and make the guy chase you be a cat some bullshit like that i can just see where it's going already the guy doesn't like you. You can never change a guy's mind. You're never going to make him be romantic for you if he's not doing it already. Not hard to understand. What women don't understand is they think they can change men. They think they can lock down guys who might have a lot of options and who aren't giving her the treatment that she wants if she nags for it or if she tries to do some sort of psychological warfare by reading these books. And it's like the female equivalent of reading the game or... Um, you know, red pill bullshit, you know, with um, pickup artistry. It's just a female way of doing the manipulation tactics to try and get a guy to commit. So it's all bullshit. That's my two cents. What we're going to do is we're going to deploy a little bit of black cat energy. The reason it is called black cat energy, and first I found this kind of rhetoric on TikTok, is there is a black cat in a relationship and then that is being chased. And then there is the golden retriever, the one who chases. And in the best case scenario, you want to be the black cat. Why? The female, the feminine is better in the black cat role because we enjoy being chased. We enjoy biologically being the ones who are won over. There you go. If a woman has to win over a man and he's the black cat and you are the golden retriever, it's all a big game, guys. Why can't people just be bloody genuine with each other? Why is it this game, this power struggle? It's generally women who are coming up with this bullshit. And then it fucks up the dating market as well. Because they're pushing this shit out there. Then they go and create Steve-O and Bryce's. Guys who may have been Mr. Romantic Nice Guys turning up to the, flower, uh, to the front door. Guys out there, tell me you've never done this. You, you haven't... Um, turned up with a box of flowers, uh, sorry, a bunch of flowers and a bloody heart-shaped box, you know, when you're young and you went to your first girlfriend's house to ask her out uh, to go pick her up on your date to go to the movies or out for dinner or something like that. And the dad answered the door and you shook the dad's hand and did all that bullshit. We've done that. That'd be the last thing I'd fucking do now, knowing what I know, doing what I've done. Guys, don't end up this way for no reason, not being the guys who do the things that they want. Guys would normally do those things, but now they're waking up after years of a lot of mistreatment, raw deals, no benefit after giving a lot of effort, and they're saying, hang on, what was in that for me? I'm not doing all those things and buying flowers because I did that, I was treated like shit, I got dumped, I got cheated on, all that sort of stuff. 
these women like to make out their sugar and spice and all things nice. And all they want is to sit there like a little princess, like Rapunzel in the castle, waiting for a nice guy, just any nice guy to come along and be my boyfriend. No, no, no. They want the guy. They want Prince Charming, who's banging 50 other Disney sluzzers, right, to, to, to settle down with them while they're out banging other Disney princes. It's just the way it goes. You can't make this shit up. Then they want to write in and they want to learn psychological warfare um, how to get a guy to commit, manipulate him using clandestine tactics. <laughs> uh, can't get over it. Both of you are going to feel very sad indeed. Why are you going to feel sad? Why, why, why? Because he's going to feel like he's not winning the prize. The masculine is to drive forward and to achieve. So if he's the black cat and you're the golden retriever always... <laughs> winning him over always trying to please him he's going to feel intrinsically not in his masculine and he is going to not Come feel on. fulfilled he wants to be the golden retriever let him chase you and for every golden retriever there is a black cat so you might not be the black cat for his golden retriever but you will be the black cat what for you somebody, okay Black cats and dogs the reason and shit. I wanted to make this video is because you guys still have questions about what it is to be the black cat and how to be it and how to do it, okay? How, hang on. I want to be a black cat. So I'm going to ride into a dating coach because I want to be a black cat. How stupid are these people? Some person here who's sitting there spewing psycho babble, not doing probably what she preaches. I think she put in her most recent video, um, which I did a critique on, so this one's a couple of months old, I think. And I think there might have been one. She just had a baby with some loser, some dickhead who she's sucked in, probably using her own tactics. She's not out there doing all this bullshit. She's at home fucking grifting all these chicks, selling them bullshit, telling them what men think. How can a woman tell another woman what a man thinks, what we like biologically, what our masculine energy demands and what keeps us uh, engaged and wanting to chase and be cavemen hunters? Men are really simple, really. We don't like fucking chasing. We do it because we have to, because of society and how the whole everything's set up. If we could just sit there and chicks would come over, we wouldn't be bloody chasing them. We'd be, we wouldn't be out dating and do all this bullshit, spend the money. Guys don't like doing that. Most guys don't like doing that. I know there are some of you guys out there who are still diehard romantics. That's fine. You haven't been punched in the face enough times yet, but I'm sure you get punched in the head a few more times by a few more women, um, slam your head into that wall a few more times, and then you might just stop wanting to be the guy who is chasing and doing what he has to do and winning the prize and all this shit because you realize when you get that prize, it isn't really that much of a great prize you get that golden trophy right you got the trophy you think it's going to be awesome it's going to stay shiny forever you're going to put it up on the mantelpiece you're excited you go home you show mum and dad that trophy turns out to be a c-u-n-t <laughs> like the c-u-n-t trophy that doesn't bang you <laughs> oh i chased it i got my goal i'm in my masculine i'm a golden retriever energy <laughs> what the hell what's going on in the internet and I want to delve into those questions. I want to get connected about this whole energetic shift. And you might not call it a black cat. You might call it being her, like the podcast is called. You might call it being that girl, that bitch, whatever you want to call it. Let's talk about it. How to stay the black cat if you're married 16 years together. The black... Oh, yo, 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 the phone fell. Oh, my gosh, it's getting serious. The black cat doesn't stop being the black cat because the black cat is married. The black cat loves to be married. The black cat loves to be married because... That golden retriever is intrinsically there to worship her and support her. <laughs> what? The thing that kills the black cat energy the most in a relationship is, I think, what you're asking me. How do you maintain that kind of quintessential feminine chase me, look after me, serve me energy? And Fuck that. You're married to a chick for 16 years and she wants this shit. You kick her straight to the fucking curb because if you're going to have to be doing this black cat golden retriever bullshit... Right? You might as well do it with some fresh new sluzzer. It's going to be good in bed that you want to fuck. Golden Retrievers want to fuck nice new fresh cats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just makes no sense to me. Oh, I've been married for 16 years. I want my husband to chase me like uh, it was the first three months when I was sucking him off in the VN down the car park behind the cricket ground. It doesn't happen. It's not reality. We're not made that way. Dating's all bullshit. It's all construct. It doesn't last forever. They just don't understand. And that's why they'll dump a guy. This is, this is the sort of chick you she'll write into here and she'll say, oh, well, you're not getting your um, your golden retriever to worship you and love you. And then they go, oh, oh yeah. Well, uh, Margarita Nazarenko told me, and I read in her book, The Bullshit Rules, um, that I'm not getting my black cat energy fixed because the golden retriever's not chasing me, so I've got to leave you. 
I've got to go find myself, eat, pray, and love. This is just bullshit. It is poison. It is toxic for society. <laughs> Women are dumb. They buy this shit. But I'm going to also going to say this. I'm going to call guys out who also like you know. I, I, there have been other dating coaches I've put on my show, like you know, you got Marnie and people like that. Fine, people buy their stuff. They're a little bit more value add than this. This is just psycho babble bullshit. But guys will buy all those dating courses. So you know, whatever. And it is like this. We often fall into the mothering role in a relationship. What is mothering, Margarita? Very simple. You fulfill the role of a mother for him. Did you take your tablets, sweetie? What are you going to have for lunch today? No guy wants this. No guy wants that. No, you know, no, no guy wants some guy to do wipe your ass or wipe your fucking asshole for you. Like, they want to make out like they mummy you. They go, oh, I've already got two kids. I've got another big kid at home. You hear women say that bullshit. You know, that's degrading shit about their husbands. No guy wants to be fucking treated like that. They want you to be, um, you know, the back of the seat being sluzzer for life, but you've gone and changed and become a, a croaky old uh, bullfrog who's going to bust his balls all day long and still want to be treated like a queen. Oh, Margarita Nazarenko said on her YouTube uh, channel that I need to be a black cat and uh, not give a fuck and be a fuckwit uh, so that you chase me. <laughs> uh, you see, guys, I'm charged up because I just can't stand bullshit. <laughs> All right, about halfway through this one, guys. So if you enjoy my content today, having a bit of a laugh along with me, uh, please sub to the channel. Uh, guys, if you also agree with me that this is bullshit um, type stuff that women buy into, put it in the comments. I want to hear about it. Watch me through to the end to support the channel, guys. Uh, that's what's going to get me out there. Um, if you do enjoy the content, please do. So obviously, if you're not, click click off. Don't fucking blame you. I'm just ranting. <laughs> but I love a good rant. So if you guys who love a good rant, hang around because I'm sure it's going to get better. Hey, do you remember to flush the toilet after yourself? Why can't you do this? You look after him essentially like you would a child. This kills your feminine energy dramatically. I know it's counterintuitive to believe and say, but mothering energy is very forward moving, very instructional in terms of like looking after your child. And that can be very masculine. I know that's a counterproductive thing to kind of say, counterintuitive thing to say, sorry. That mother because you're getting, you're getting jumbled up. She just cut then. She just did a hard cut because she fucked up what she was saying, right? She's trying to come up on the on the spot. She's not fast enough to come up with this bullshit. So she had to cut away. Hilarious. I love that. It's all a grift. Is masculine. I'm not saying mothering is a masculine role. What I'm saying is energetically, Ooh, you have tangled. to think a lot in the modern you're world. Tangled. What are we going to do? Where's the cookies? Uh, are they organic? Are they holistic? Are we going to... Okay, I'm going to say one more thing and then I'm going to let it play for a bit because I know I've been stopping it a bit because she's pissing me right off here and I've got to just come down now like a ton of bricks, right? Men don't ask to be mothered. Men don't ask to be babied. Women will do that. Women are naturally going to nag, nag, nag if you let them. That's just the way they go. They like to try and run the roost. They nest. They want to, uh, they want to be the mother hen in the house. They're going to tell you where all the plates and cups go. They're going to tell you where to put the medicine, things in the medicine cabinet and just stack them in order. They're going to tell you where to put the fucking um, towels and shit. And they're going to tell you where to put the dirty washing and it goes in that part of the room in the basket there and it can't go over there. It's the way they go. Yeah, you're brushing your teeth. You're walking around in the bedroom brushing your teeth. Oh, no, go brush your mouth over the sink. You know, you're going to drop toothpaste on the ground. All this bullshit. We don't ask them to do that. We don't want them to do that. They do that. Then say they're mothering us when they fucking do it. Is this, guys, is this giving you an incentive to get married or move in with a chick? T t tell me this now. You've got a woman who's 16 years in a marriage right again with this psycho babble bullshit to get the Jedi High, the queen of the Jedi High Council, as I call it, spitting bullshit to her. Going to come home. You're going to come in from a hard day at work. She's got an email or a video response from uh, Margarita Nazarenko. You're going to cop all this bullshit when you walk in from 18, day, uh, 18 hours straight in the office or on the building site that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're not filling up her feminine energy cup, boys. She's got to go over to Italy and eat, pray, love, and bang Sergio the scuba diver. Take all your money out. You can go and fund that as well and move out of the house. And put them in the pack. Are we going to bring water? What are we drinking? All that stuff is very not with the flow and masculine energy, okay? If you start treating your man like a pampered poodle as opposed to the golden retriever or the terrier or whatever dog you like that's serving you that is going to push him into a black cat energy because now he's getting pampered if you're mothering him you are going to pamper him resist restrain refrain from looking after him like that nurturing 
and being an amazing wife and cooking him a meal is not mothering. An amazing making you an amazing wife is cooking a meal. No, that's just being a fucking human who needs to feed herself and then while they're at it too, cook enough food as part of that same batch, which is no extra effort, to feed your husband. I used to cook all the time when I was married. Didn't care. I love cooking. Have no problem with it. Uh, uh, the, the wife that I was married to, full on womanist, mate. Would not want to cook, or if she did, um, she would cook for herself. Uh, I'll tell you guys why I get annoyed at this sort of advice because she was taking all this advice and reading all these stupid books as well. I can see what damage that does. So I've been on the other end of this. So I know where this leads for men. They read bullshit. Remember, I, went, I worked late in the office, guys. I used to work at a cons global consulting firm, one of the biggest firms in the world. I was working on a deal at the time. It was crunch time, end of the project. Didn't get home till about 10.30, right? This is back before work from home and all that, right? Got out of the cab um, from the office, came inside. I was really hungry. She said that she was cooking dinner, right? When I talked to her, so I assumed I was getting dinner. No, no, no. She cooked enough dinner for her and ate it and then ate the little bit of leftovers a little bit later. I had to fucking sort myself out at 10.30 at night. What's this bullshit, you know? And that's what a lot of guys deal with now with um, womanism taking over, that women won't actually, they see that as a sign of weakness as a woman to look after their men. And they want men to cook. Oh, I need a man who cooks and need a man who does this and I... Blah, blah, blah. Bloody backwards world we're living in. Mothering. For example, you don't mother your friend. Your friend comes over, you do something really nice for her. I really go into it in my book if you haven't read it or haven't listened to it on Audible, I suggest you do. There's a chapter on mothering your man. Don't do it. You can look after your friend in a really nice way. Like you can offer her a nice drink when she comes over. You can even cook her a meal, but you don't mother her. You don't say, um, what time are you getting up for work? Have you set your alarm? Let the man live. He lived for 35 years before he met you. He can live for 35 years again without having you. That's true. You've been together for 16 years. It's your role to be always developing and be an enigma. The way to be a black cat in a marriage is to not try and control your partner. Black cats don't give a flying F what you do, okay? You do you and I will sit on my black cat pedestal and judge whether you're good enough for me. Yes, even in a marriage. Even if you are going to be together forever, I'm still going to judge what you do and see if I want to be with you. Make him feel that way. That you're always seeing, you're always deciding, you're always... That's how you get fucking dumped. That's how he goes and fucks the um the secretary. Jesus Christ. You see, this this quite literally for me is poison for women. This is like, okay, you guys who have been there, yeah, you say you're with a woman, you live with her, you're having a great relationship, but then all of a sudden they start acting up. And you know why they start acting up? Because a new friend comes on the scene who starts spitting this bullshit or one of her girlfriends who might have had a long-term boyfriend or might have been married, she's divorced, she's separated now, she's single. She drags your friend in with her. She starts saying all this bullshit to her. We know where that leads, don't we, guys? Because women are very, very um, easily influenced by other girlfriends and what other women say. They don't think for themselves. They have to think from a high mind. So she's got 403,000 subscribers. So just this video has 213,000 views in two months. That's incredible. I don't get that. I'm lucky to get that in a month, on a great month. She got this on one video. I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Why can't people just be normal? Same for guys as well. I'm, I'm, I've been fucking teeing off on the chicks here today. But guys as well, reading all these bullshit uh, PUA stuff and doing all that shit too and uh, trying to be Machiavellian and, uh, you know, what, what is it, the dark triad behaviors and all that bullshit too. It just doesn't work, guys. All that stuff does. It works short term. It doesn't work long term. You'll fuck everything up. Just be a normal human being. Be conscientious. Be respectful of each other. If someone's uh, crossing their boundaries, tell them in a respectful manner. If you're be if you're crossing their boundaries, they should communicate with you in a respectful manner. Sort it out. Have a bit of healthy conflict. Not this uh, fairyland bullshit that people buy into. Both males and female. I'm calling fucking everyone out here. I'm teeing off. That's why we got a problem. That's why everyone gets fucking divorced. You know, uh, what is it out of a out of ten marriages? What is it um, out of ten divorces? It's eighty or ninety percent are initiated by women. Why is it? Because they listen to bullshit like this, guys. We don't listen to this shit. We go to work, we forget about it. We thought we've got the girl, we've caught her, we've brought her home, we put her in our cave. No, she's always wanting another caveman to come along. They're always wanting excitement. They're always wanting those thrills. They want to be chased. They want to be pedestalized, worshipped by the golden retriever. They want to be the black cat that's worshipped. Well, I can't get over this bullshit. <laughs> it's just. As you can see, guys, I'm charged up today. I'm just um, taking off on this one. Incredible. Incredible. He's choosing him. Every day you are choosing him. Okay? 
Next question. How to have black cat energy with dismissive avoidance? Well, baby, you're trying to out black cat a black cat. Dismissive avoidant people have a very black cat aloof energy in terms of the fact that they are somewhere from childhood they decided that the way they're going to deal with this world and be in this world is by acting like the other people can't meet their needs some people are secure let's say 50 percent of people are secure that means they can be attached to other people that means they like 50 percent no let's just say the black cat is a man who has seen what can happen to other men and decides he's not going to get locked down and sucked into the bullshit but that's a negative thing apparently i definitely would say i'm a cat right i'm a fucking don't be a black cat. I might call me a big fat fucking tabby cat. Garfield. I love eating. <laughs> what is this bullshit? But just because you're avoidant, it doesn't mean you got some childhood um, trauma. It means that you're protecting yourself. A lot of guys go from being a married men, happily married, um, gave up that commitment, gave up everything without thinking about it twice to coming out, cheat up and spat out on the other end, shocking divorces. Uh, horrible experiences that have probably given them PTSD for life and they become avoidant because of this and they do that to protect themselves so guys if you've been put in that situation why don't you tell me about it I don't know I don't think women ever understand truly the toll of divorce um, or uh, the heartbreak that a man can experience how bad that can be and it's not just heartbreak about losing the woman it's the heartbreak of your worldview being destroyed and i talk about that in a number of my other videos about divorce the heartbreak of just realizing that whole world the whole system the whole societal contract that you thought you were signing up to to get a benefit if you do the right things it's all bullshit it doesn't exist it's rubbish it only benefits one party it does not benefit you all right no matter how much they want to kick and scream and say that uh, women don't benefit from marriage and men men benefit more and men live longer it's all bloody bullshit all bloody bullshit personal relationships that means they like to get to rely on other people and other people rely on them and then there's the other 50 percent of us who are either 25 percent, let's just say for argument's sake anxiously attached that means love me love me why don't you love me oh oh you said something wrong did i do that thing wrong oh how can i please you how can i please you golden retriever that was me hi everyone that was used to be me and then there's the avoidance which are well i so didn't get my needs met when i was a child i so much didn't get that fulfilled that i'm just gonna I, i've got my own back i got me so with avoidant men and many men are avoidant because they were taught in modern world that they can't rely on anyone or stiff up a lip or you're a boy don't cry or oh, don't keep it to women because they could fucking wreck your life or they've seen it happen to their friends dads uncles brothers sons cousins colleagues I have seen guys that you would call the most toughest, most hard-ass guys be brought to their bloody knees by women. Women can destroy a man. Uh, they do it every day. It isn't because men have been told to be uh, be stoic and don't trust anyone. Men want love. I think men believe in love more than what women do, truly, because they want games. They want to be worshipped. Men just want a woman to be there, to be there with. They don't get it. They just um, they don't understand men in any way. When they talk about, when I, mean, I watch these um, coaches, right? I watch these coaches. It isn't about the man. It isn't trying to be a better person for the man. It's about playing a psychological warfare game to get the upper hand and also influence their audience because it's like a power grab. It's like megalomania. She's sitting, who the hell is she to sit there, right? Who the hell is she to sit there with a little microphone? She's uh, got a bloke and she's got kids. Who's she to sit there, right? And say, I'll be aloof and do this and do fucking that. And if they don't do that, fuck them off or whatever it is that they do. Anyway, guys, this is enough for me. Just I'm getting pretty charged. Um, I love a good rant. This, this one set me off. Nothing personal to this chick. I'm just saying I don't believe these female coaches benefit women or men um, in any way. I don't think any dating coaches really do at all. I think there should be more transparency, uh, more honesty, more realism out there so people can know what to expect. So I'm going to keep going in on them. All right, every time I come across a stupid video, I'm going to make a commentary video of it for you guys. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And these are my thoughts. You might completely disagree. What I'm saying might not be your reality, but it is definitely my reality. Um, and I want to share it with you guys when I am, I guess, stoked. That fire in me is stoked. All right. Anyway, guys, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Once again, I really appreciate your time. It's valuable for us as men. Um, time is money. Time is fun. Time is relaxation. So thank you for sharing that time with me. I'll see you all in the next video.